Yeah, we promised you and we delivered. We've got Brett Michaels here on the show. From great Poison. to be here. How you doing? Welcome to New Zealand. Great, thank you. Feels great to be here. Now, you're here to do one How are you show. doing over here? <laughs> Just, I'm good, I'm good. Nice to see you. Also, we're talking. <laughs> Whoops, we forgot about her over here. <laughs> now, you're here to do one show, of course, at the Big Top tomorrow night. Right. Where have you flown in from? Uh, we just came in from Perth, Australia, right? And uh, we were—that's what we were talking about a little earlier. Um, we uh, we finished up. This will be the last show of about 16 months of being on the road, and then we—it'll end the uh, open up and say our world tour. We've been through Japan, Australia, Europe, here, and um, you know it's uh, it's great because some of the equipment wasn't going to be able to make it here, right? And uh, we just you know we took the time and uh, made sure everything got here because we refused to come here and do a half beep show, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, everyone's sweating. God, don't say the words we talked about. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the important four-letter words, but um, they, uh, yeah. So we we're real excited about it. We brought everything with us, and it's going right. to be a great show. So what can we expect? Um, God, that's a good question. Everything, <laughs> you know. It's uh, for me. I'm sort of the. I, I am right in the middle of it. So it's 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 what you expect is what you get. You know, you come. We're we're there to have a great time. We put on a great live show, and it's what we're all about. And I think the most important thing is when when a band performs live. You can't take anything away from it or add anything. Mm -hmm. It's just what the band is. And right. I think for Poison, our whole reason for, for being where we're at is because we started out in small bars and pubs playing, and we just built our, our following up to, to where we're at now. We've written you know some songs that people really enjoy as well as us yeah. enjoy, and I think you just go out and you perform those as best you can, and it makes for a great show. What, what do you think? I mean, like, you guys... It's been a, a relatively fast road to success since you, you did your first album. Right. What do you think of all the critics who've criticised you and now you're right up there and you're looking down? Um, probably made them miserable. You know, <laughs> nothing worse than criticising someone is when you criticise them and they become successful anyway, you know. Um, one thing I said is you gotta, you got to remember that a critic is just a person, they have an opinion. Nine times out of ten, they come to a rock show and they don't really enjoy the band they're going to see, whether it's us, whether it's Def Leppard, Guns N' Roses, whoever. And uh, and it's one of those things you got to remember. You we're out there to play music that I enjoy. They can't take anything away from me. You know, I'm, I'm playing music, whether it's playing it to 50 people or 50,000 people. It's still what I enjoy that's doing, right. and and I I think that that's what's the most important thing, really. Now you um you mentioned some other bands before. What other bands that Poison like to listen to? God, there's so many of them. Uh, I come, my biggest realm of bands comes from bands like ACDC, uh, Thin Lizzy, Ted Nugent, Kiss, Aerosmith, uh, UFO, List, you know, yeah. list goes on and on. I like bands more like in the like the mid or in late '70s. Yeah, I love Van Halen. I think Motley Crue's great. Um, Metallica, their their new album sounds great. Uh, got Def Leppard, Bon Jovi. There's so many. Uh, so many. I like. Uh, it's for me too. Uh, that I write a lot of the lyrics and, and, and on the album. I like to listen to people like uh, Bob Seger and Jim Croce. People that are more folk rock. Or you know oriented, yeah. but for me it's they write great music and, and when you listen to their lyrics, I like to express a story. Mm -hmm. You know, to, not just to have a beginning and no ending. I like mm -hmm. to finish a story, and uh, so I listen to that and I like to listen to the blues a lot too. Great. So uh, how did how did Poison get started? I mean, could tell us a bit about the you know the formative years. The early days. Shall we say? Shall, shall we say? Let's see. Well, my first band, as everyone was called Laser, and uh, we had a, why we had a tiger sheet backdrop. I'll never know. You know, we didn't have any. You know, this is when I was about you know 12, 13 years old. You know, and I just went from there. You know, and uh, I um, I just that's all I've ever done is pursue music, and I had a lot of odd end jobs to make ends meet. You know, we we had to buy our own equipment, our PA system. You know, run everything. We used to move all the equipment ourselves, do all that kind of stuff, right up until we did look what the catch rag did, right. you know. We were our own road crew, our own publicity, our own, uh, you know, everything. We did it all ourselves, and I think that that gives you a real strong base. It also makes you appreciate it as you get bigger, and it makes you appreciate the things, you knew how hard it was then, sure. so yeah. you appreciate the people that work with you and work for you, and what they do, and, and especially the band has become real tight from it. Mm -hmm. How many people are actually on the entourage? How many people are with you? Um, in the States we had about we had about seven trucks and about 45 people. Here we have about, I guess we have about four trucks and about probably about 30 people. Wicked. So and that's part Australian crew, part the New Zealand crew, yeah. and yeah. our crew we brought from home. Well, we've got a great poison clip to show you. Which one is it, Finn? Ain't nothing but a good time. But um, you can hang around for a little while. <laughs> I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> you know, you're going to stay with us for a little while. I'll be so here. Go away. I'll and go away. It's going to be some really good rock and roll. <laughs> Hi, New Zealand. I'm Brett Michaels of Poison. On behalf of CC, Bobby, Ricky, and myself, I just want to thank everyone very much for giving us a double platinum success down here. Looking forward to playing, and uh, we'll be right back live after this final scene of Alice in Wonderland. Cheers. Welcome back to 345 Live, and of course we have our very special guest, 
Brett Michaels from Poison. Thank you. It's so nice to have you here. Feels great to be here. Now, I'd like to ask you, Every Rose Has Its Thorn is a beautiful ballad. Thank what you. What motivates you to write something like that as opposed to a really hard-edged rock number? Um, well, like a song like Every Rose is, for me, when I wrote that song, I was depressed. Um, I was getting over a relationship, and um, we were out on the road, and it's just kind of one of those things that the uh, the rose was the music, meaning we were out and playing it, and the thorn was that I was losing somebody, you know. And that happens, I mean, this is, it can be in any situation, you know, different situations. But, um, and then a song like Nothing But A Good Time is exactly how I felt. It was about working hard, and, and everyone does it. You work hard, you go through the week, and the weekend comes, and the payoff is being able to go out with your friends and party and have a great time, you know. So it's, uh, that's what that's all about. And, uh, and for each song, there's, there's a different meaning, but I like to complete the story because music is, you can write anything, it just depends on how you feel, and that's sort of my outlet, you know, of letting out, you know, my emotions or different things. Letting off steam. Yeah, letting <laughs> off steam, so to speak. Brett, we've had so much mail since we've announced that you've been coming on the show. We've just had stacks of mail. Would you like to read out a couple of And there's one nice fans. letter in the whole bunch. Yeah. They're all for our letters, you know. They're all for us, but we thought we'd, uh, we'd let you read a couple of sure. them. Just to these these fans here. Okay, say hello to a few people. Um, Renee Farley, we'd like to say hi to her. Um, Catherine Rush. Amanda Lansley. That's the one. Uh, Nikki Mc... McGibbon. That's the one, yeah. McGibbon, I want to say hi to them. They wrote a great letter in. We were reading them a little earlier. And, uh... Here's one from Tracy Butterworth, and she wrote in a great letter, and there was a bunch more. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to read them, but I just want to say thanks. Good one. Thank now, you very much. You're welcome. You must spend a lot, a lot of time on the road, and you've always yeah. said that above and beyond everything else, you're really good friends. And that must be really important when so a lot of bands don't get on. Do you think that reflects in your performance and stuff? It definitely does. You know, you can see, when you go out and uh, you're watching a band perform that doesn't get along, you can obviously see that. You know, you can see that the singer says, well, you don't move from here, and I'm going to stand here, and you don't drink from my glass. And then with our band, it's always been, it's it's truly been, there's no egos. Our band gets along great. We write together. We, we go out and we play the songs together when we're on stage, and it comes together like that. It makes you feel great because we work so long to get there. And then to not enjoy it's a sin. You yeah. know, you got to enjoy what you do, and if you don't enjoy it, you shouldn't be doing it. You know. Yeah. Brett, so this, it's, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is. This is <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> this is go. the last show on the tour, as you were saying. Right. What happens now? What's what's uh, the future for Poison? That's a good question. Um, pizza right after the show. <laughs> Big party and pizza and uh, beer and now, uh, you know, actually it's going to be. Um, what's going to happen is we're. Uh, the, uh, he's trying to get me to get off the camera. I can see him down here now. Brett, shut up. Or... <laughs> briefly, the future. Briefly, I'll briefly give you the future. We're gonna we're gonna come off, take a small break. Um, I'm writing some other stuff right now. I don't, um, you know, for other people as well as the right, band. Right. And uh, and also I'll be um, after that. We go in, do our next record. We're doing it with Bruce Fairburn and uh, Mike Frazier. Both a great team to work with. And uh, the album should be out sometime in the late spring, early summer of. 1990. Cool. Well, we'll look forward to that. Good luck. And we're going to play now cool. one of your favorite songs. Every Rose Has Every Rose Has Its Own. And thanks, well, thanks very for much coming for coming in. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us out. And we'll see you tomorrow night at the concert. All right, we'll It'll see you. It'll be then. hot. Have see you guys all out there, too. Cheers. All right, let's go and check out Every Rose Has Its Own.